Good morning, all you beautiful girls out there, and all girls are beautiful by nature. Absolutely. Now, I, um, of course, putting this on for the public, and yet not one person viewed my expose that I'm the original 007. There's something there that is that absolutely then being used to keep me from being publicly known. Uh, because such a scoop scandal should be headlines, and really, not that I want the public, uh, you know, uh, like a movie star, they want the public to idolize them like something like that. No, it's just for the justice of the crimes being committed against, that were committed against my father's family, and uh, especially my brother, my sisters, and then my family, and and then this senior citizen. Now, um, I intend to continue somehow, some way. These videos are supposed to be in the public domain, and the public is supposed to be able to see them. Uh, so I continue. I um, had uh, tremendous achievements, really, in various disciplines, um, science, cosmology, theology. Now it's number one with yours truly. Uh, theology, the study of all beliefs. How did we get here? Why are we here? What best to do? And on that, what what best to do is super patriotic achievements, science, uh, uh, civil science, uh, a, um, and good deeds, and just many, many. And um, now that, uh, at, well, one of them was to uh, replace Jagger Hoover. Jagger Hoover was immoral, but not, in my opinion, not only on that fact, I didn't think an immoral person should have that position, is that he was committing crimes, secret crimes, violating the Constitution, Bill of Rights, and he was committing crimes against God and humanity experimenting on Americans to death. Absolute true fact. Now that is something the public has been told. But they just so busy trying to keep up with getting employment and, and doing what they have to do that those in charge secretly keep on doing what they want to do. The amazing thing is that they're elected into office to help you to have you obtain your your constitutional rights and bill of rights. Not that they secretly commit crimes by violating your constitutional rights and the bill of rights, and especially uh, as, as, uh, as religious belief, contrary to religion, contrary to human humanity. And what evil fellow that... Jagger Homer Hoover was, and they still have the same practices. And this silly thing where they, if you catch them, they say, oh, pardon me, I'm sorry. That's if you catch them. But that doesn't say that they're going to stop committing crimes secretly. And what about the crimes they committed? Instead of spending millions of dollars to keep doing these crimes, all you have to do is say, look, you've had through the years many complaints of what of crimes against you, we decided that you should get signed and get so many millions in compensation for the millions they stole from me in the in the crimes, right? I mean, they are so phony. They are abs. It's just like, uh, well, I preach religion. And I say that uh, 
people have their uh, rights of uh, what they believe in and to do good. Not that they use their religion to cover up that they're supposed to be good. Uh, I say, especially women, women are sort of secondary. And uh, they say, well, they're arguing for their rights. Yeah, they have a right to argue for their rights. Uh, my opinion is that all girls are beautiful by nature. And that they should have equal rights, but they should be catered to to have as good a life you can get for them. Not that they're to be used and then discarded, as some high politicians do. And in other words, I do what, what best to do. I do what's best for you and me. And if somebody's committing a crime against you, I say that's wrong and try to help you. If somebody's committing crimes on me, like my father's family and me, my family and me, then I demand my constitutional rights. Yet nobody seems to view my videos. Zero views of an expose that I'm the original 007 because of what I achieved in science and, and suggestions, achievements, super uh, terrific effort, all out effort, super patriot, in using to analyze what circumstances were national and international and put forward what was best for this country, then how could they be committing these crimes against me? That's how evil they are understand other uh, I've done said and done everything I could to stay alive with anybody anytime because if I stay alive I have a chance to expose them and obtain my rights now certainly all these years and all these times somebody should say yeah he should have some of the great he's done. Not that they're going to, maybe they they have committed crimes themselves. And now maybe say, well, so uh, they become like Hooverist uh, or participate in Hooverist criminally insane nonsense, criminally insane crimes. They're preposterous that they can stand up there and some let's say they don't believe in God but they can stand up there like there's somebody as a human being and say you think they're good you're good if you do good for what those you should and who you should do good for I mean it's that it's that straightforward and that honest. So I say I put forth in various disciplines what I can that is good, especially for all you beautiful girls out there, and for good people. There are good people all over the world. And there are people that I'd say 90% of the population has no info of how criminally insane Hoover was and that they use a blanket of control, a blanket of their secrecy. They practice every crime they can get away with because they say, well, we'll get away with it and then what can anybody do about it? You have to call them to investigate them to show where they would show that they're committing a crime and then you have to take them to court. And I was told, well, if you take them to court, the Justice Department that is there for the people, the Justice Department 
especially because they're part of the Justice Department, their branch of them. It's still supposed to be. The Justice Department use their best lawyers to defend them. Well, what about the, 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 the citizens that are the crimes against? Yeah, it's preposterous that such a, a, a system can continue on. It, it just can't. It just can't. Sooner or later, there's going to be enough people saying, look, we have to have a better system. We have, we have to have one of where those elected really do for the people what they should. Not that they pose. It's always photo ops of posing and how supposed, good they're supposed to be. And uh, I've been told, look, when you... When you make a video and so forth, you're just talking. You're just talking to me. Nobody's going to give you a chance to be known. God doesn't know what's going on. That they say, God bless America. That's all hype then. They say, oh, God bless America. I'm Patriot. Well, yeah, at the same time, those in power say, well, if we let the majority sort of have a better standard of living than other places, they'll do what we say, but we can keep covered up of killing off those we want to kill off. Maybe you, or you, or you. No, well, uh, whose sons and daughters are being killed in these wars that, that they phony the reports so they can go to war. It wasn't the senators and the representatives or the rich people or the bankers. It's the majority of the American people. Isn't that true now? So, I say, I must I could or should must obtain my rights of the Constitution Bill of Rights what I've achieved is mine reasonable honors and compensation does that going to make me uh, not smile and so forth no I'm going to smile more and put forth more of, of, my, of what I can do what's best to do because they use quack artists to try to make you feel bad and control you. They, and those fellows get the most money, maybe than even the regular, say the ones who aren't a quack artist. They do what those quack artists tell them. Well, it's a, a known fact that quack artists seem more quack artists than anybody else. Because they're so in that uh, emotional field to themselves. And if they don't do what's right, then they have a guilty conscience. So a, a quack artist they have that are telling them to commit these weirdo, psycho, criminally insane, hubristic type crimes. I mean... There are really weirdos, sickle, quacks. You can't commit such crimes secretly and actually have the people are working and you get that money from the people. That's really hypocrisy. Isn't that true? So what kind of a mentality is this, these quack artists they have? that are such hypocrites. Now, that's the expose. Now, as far as what's good, what best to do, and smile. Well, I'm working on where I can play good music, like uh, Lily Pons and Jeanette McDonald. They have great voices. And maybe I harmonize with them. Uh, and there's Connie Francis. I have, I think, a video where I play her Aldila. 
Beautiful. Great voice. Doris Day. Doris Day, when she sings, she hits every note of every song. All through the years, any song she's ever sang that I've heard her sing, she hits every note of every song. So she's the best vocalist for a band in the movies. Lily Pons is the best in the sort of opera and classical. And Jeanette McDonald. Then there's Deanna Durbin. Deanna Durbin sings Ave Maria like in a church service. Absolutely beautiful. Then there's a, and the male singers, there's Ezio Pinza in South Pacific singing some enchanted evening. And I uh, listen to him and I try, try to imitate him and hit some of the notes, try to hit the notes they can hit. And like, <clears throat> Some enchanted evening, you will see a stranger, you will see a stranger across a crowded room, and fly to her side, and make her your own. I uh, practice memorizing the words in the notes, and, and then... And using a little garlic. <laughs> That's one of my favorite uh, puns or jokes. They interviewed, I think it was Robert Merrill of the New York Philharmonic. And his real name, I think, is Robert Roberto Morello. And uh, they said, gee, you know, you never miss a performance. You're there all the time and give a good performance. How do you do it? Yeah, just, just great. He says, well, I thank you. And they use his real name. He says, well, I'm, I'm, no, I thank you. And he said, well, when I was learning and training, they coached and told me, he says, look, especially in the north, East up here where it's cold winters, use a little garlic. He says, really? He says, yeah, because the garlic will help you from getting a cold and will help you to hold your, your notes. He's okay. So he says, I would have a little garlic. And he says, well, it seems to work because I never missed the performance. He says, but it's not so great sometimes when you're on the stage. And he says, what do you mean? He says, well, you know how these prima donnas are. Oh, they're real fussy. <laughs> he said, and there was one, this one prima donna, she had to do everything exactly the way the script was. And so when she would sing to me, she would, from the audience, she looked at the audience and faced me and sing to me and then turn to the audience. And then I would answer and I would turn to her and sing to her. Well, she had to then respond. And when I used garlic, she would get so angry that she wanted to cancel the performance. And he told her, I, Prima Donna, you want the people, you keep complaining that people are not watching you when you, you want to turn more and let them see you. He says, why don't you, when... I turn to sing to you, you turn and face the audience and let them see you. Now, wouldn't that be better? He says, yeah. So he says, well, so I use a little garlic and it does help. I, thinking back when I've had a cold, and it does help that you don't get a cold in your singing voice. And I don't live up in a cold northeast, but it gets cool evenings. So, um, I uh, have, I call myself Doc. It's my legal and professional name now. And uh, it's mainly a, the honorary title for what I've achieved in science and inventions and in other fields. I have some terrific work in cosmology. 
I think I've done now what might be the pinnacle of success in the discipline of theology. Yet they run around trying to make me a gutter fighter so that if I'm busy arguing with them like a nonsense and their crapola junk they use, you know, their favorites is to run with dogs. To, 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 one of them really tried to, uh, I barely, one of them I had special, uh, I, I used to be a security officer, and you know, those pants are more of a better material, so the teeth just scrape my leg instead of bite me. Constantly using dogs because they got a federal law. If you do something to the dog, they can arrest you for, for doing something to an animal. Besides, then they don't have to clean up the dog. They're just dirty where kids run and play. I tell them, well, you let your dog... I, well, there's children playing here in this little park. I had the dog grab me and I have to clean it and go away. Or wherever I get, there ain't nobody, no dogs, nothing. They show up with dogs and the dogs bark. And you have to have that dog on a leash. Oh, pardon me. Yeah, I mean, the only thing I can do, I'm practicing my golf, hitting my golf balls. And I say, if that dog goes to bite me, I'm going to have to club it. Well, then if you club a dog, it's a real fierce fight. It's pretty tough to fight a dog with just a golf club. So you didn't know that. They're just constantly doing criminally, humoristic, crap all that, weirdo games. They call them games. That's what's going on. They go down. They start here and they want to cut down whoever they want to. That if they're given orders to cut somebody down, they just oh, they making money they're cutting them down. Well, look, that's a good man there, a good you know, citizen. Don't mean nothing. It's a veteran. Don't mean nothing. It's lost an arm or a leg in the service. You got to help this. Don't mean nothing. They can save money. They'll cheat them. Put the money in their pocket. That's what's going on. Those at the top are making billions, certainly millions, in war production and things. Prices three, four times what the regular are. Rackets. Plane lands in Iraq. The money for the troops is put on the truck. Truck disappears. Just one of the many rackets that were running, going on. Send another plane with the money. They just take and print the money. They don't have money for people losing their homes. They give it to the bankers who lost the money, either stealing it or sending it, especially to Israel, above and beyond, under the table. Or they take off and go somewhere with the money. And they bail them out. And it's now keep losing money. If I ain't got money for people that the bankers then grab their home because they're not making the payments because the economy is bad, they haven't got work, or the work they now have can do is not maybe half of what they were earning, so they can't afford the good home they had. They don't care. They took my home, and I proved I could pay for it, except for the fines they threw at me. I says, "You want to take and put this home up for sale?" You put it up for sale, it's an auction. It'll be a hundred thousand less than I'm willing to pay you on time, the original deal. But I can't afford all these fines you put on it when I couldn't pay at that time. Now I can pay. Out. They got me out. Why? Because they passed a law saying if they get a new owner, it's the loan is guaranteed. If I'm there and I pay and I don't pay, all right, then they can. See, you have to leave. But with a new owner, if they don't pay, they say, hey, didn't pay, they get the, the loan paid off. You understand? Well, they get another owner. Well, they get an owner that they know maybe won't pay also a little while. And they kick them out and get paid. They did that one time, five times in one year, one home. They, are, they got... Uh, what is it called there? 
greedy, uh, greedy something, where they show a great, uh, that a Madoff fella, that's one of the stars of that program, huh? that he robbed from charities of his own faith, because more important to get that money over there with the Zionists, that's number one with them. So, uh, these are the true facts. All right. Now, I want to present up higher and better. Like what? Well, I've, uh, in literature, they said I, I wouldn't maybe be a good politician because of the way I look and speak. And uh, I didn't have the... I, the money that all the millions that they've stolen from me. Uh, another reason is then that uh, I can't obtain what I should have. You run for an office that I could win, I think. Even though I started a renaissance, understand what I'm saying? I started a renaissance in the discipline of political science called Dirty Politics by Most for obvious reasons. Do you understand? When I say I'm the original 007, that's a true fact from the science. That's why that's the fellow that's so science. But they, uh, Hoover's and the English worked together. So they put it there so that if I paraded with a sign, they'd say, oh, no, it's from fellows from England. That's the way they did it. Just like they had the English and the U.S. Um, make false reports of uh, weapons of mass destruction and so forth, so they go to war against Iraq. That's been exposed, right? Well, uh, I can make up a poem and as I go along sometimes. I'll give it a try now. Sure, you and I have been forced into some struggles and strife. But I think you, like me, want to have the reasonable good life. We could and should. But who's our representative that is there some hooveristic immoral criminal hooverist that main thing main, that doesn't care well what could you and I do To obtain our rights. They tell me it's impossible because they have the authority, the might, to continue their crimes. And they stand up there in their ego silly vein when in reality by analysis and observing truth, they are criminally insane. Now, especially all you reasonably good people, uh, you know I'm saying the truth, you know these are the true facts. I don't say I could or should, I must obtain my constitutional rights, the Bill of Rights, and reasonable honors and compensation. Thank you.